Hi, and welcome to Preschool Storytime here at Cumberland County Public Library. I'm Miss Sharon, and I work at our Bordeaux branch. Okay, right now we're going to talk some things about hearts and love for this story time. But before we get to that, we need to sing our welcome song. If you've been watching our programs, you already know what we're going to sing, and you know the motions. But we might have somebody new starting just this week, so let's look at the motions real quick, okay? The first one is gonna be hello. We take your hand and move it forward, so be hello. And then your friends are your two fingers. Hold them up and then let them hug each other. Hug this way and hug that way. Then we're also going to point to where a watch would be on your wrist, okay? That will we'll point there when we say the word time. And for the word say, we'll point to our mouth. Ready? Okay, get your hellos ready. Here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. And hello indeed. Well, now we're going to do Mama Loves You. And behind each of Miss Sharon's hearts, there is something that mama loves. It might not be your mama, but it would be whoever it is behind its mama loves them. And you're gonna help me figure out who each one is. And when I turn the heart around, I want you to yell it out big and loud at home as to what is behind that heart. Ready? Okay, here we go. So, I am yours. We'll start with our blue heart. I am yours and you are mine mama loves you little oh, what is it a porcupine only a porcupine mama could love a porcupine mm -hmm. this one is mama flip to mama fly high in the sky Mama loves you, little. What is it? That's right, a butterfly. Okay, ready? Here we go. Let it snow. I don't care. Mama loves her, little. What is it? It's a polar bear in a thicket, near, snuggle near, mama loves her, what is it? Little deer. Okay, ready for this one? Okay, my heart is singing, have you heard? Mama loves her little bird, and that is a hummingbird. Ready for our last one? You're my star, my moon, my sun. Mama loves you, her little one, just like your mama loves you. Good job at naming those animals and people as they turned around on the board. Good job. Okay, you're gonna help Miss Sharon today with our five little kisses, okay? Now, kisses are gonna be represented on our board by lips, Mwah! because that's how you give somebody a great big old kiss, isn't it? You just kiss them with the lips. Okay, so help me count them. We have one, Two, three, four, and five. We have five little kisses. I have five little kisses that I want to give away. Oh, who should I kiss on this happy day? Hmm, I think that I will give a kiss to my mommy. Mwah. So there goes one kiss. I gave one away. Now how many kisses do I have? Four. We have 
four little kisses that I want to give away. Oh, who should I kiss on this happy day? I'm going to give a kiss to my daddy. Mwah. There goes one kiss away. How many kisses are left? There's one, two, three. We have three little kisses that I want to give away. Oh, who should I kiss on this happy day? Mm, I think I will kiss my grandma. Mwah. So one kiss goes away. How many kisses are left on my board? There's one, two. I have two little kisses that I want to give away. Oh, who should I kiss on this happy day? I'm going to give a kiss to my grandpa. Mwah. And one kiss goes away. How many kisses are left on our board? We have one. Hmm. I have one little kiss that I want to give away. Oh, who should I kiss on this happy day? Hmm. I will kiss you. Mwah. And now we don't have any kisses left. Good job. Good job of helping Miss Sharon count. All right. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of movement. We're going to use our hands and we're going to have it above our head and then above our face. And then we're going to actually get to blow kisses at the end. Okay, ready? So what we're going to do is we're going to take your hands and we're going to make a heart shape. So can you bend your fingers and put your thumbs together? Now let your fingers touch. Okay, so that's going to be your heart. Okay, ready? Three, four. Great big heart. Great big heart, hold it up high, up in the sky. Now put it down up on your head. <gasps> hold it in front of your face instead. Hmm. Now blow kisses. Hmm. 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 To say I love you with your great big heart. Yay, good job. Okay, now we have one more flannel story to do, okay? All right, in this flannel story, it's going to be kind of like the rhyme of Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? But this one is about the zoo, and we're going to be seeing different animals. And all of our animals are made with different pieces of hearts. So they have heart bodies. A lot of them do. Okay, ready? And our first one is going to be our tan lion. Okay, can you help me say tan lion, tan lion? Tan lion, tan lion. What do you see? I see a, what is it? A red crab looking at me. Red crab, red crab. What do you see? Oh, I see an orange clam looking at me. Orange clam, orange clam, what do you see? I see a yellow and black bumblebee looking at me. Okay, bumblebee, bumblebee. What do you see? I see a, what is it? A green frog hopping at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a blue bunny looking at me. Blue bunny, blue bunny, what do you see? I see a purple owl hooting at me. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Okay, purple owl, purple owl. Who do you see? I see a white 
seal looking at me? White seal, white seal, who do you see? I see a brown bear looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, who do you see? I see lots of children looking at me. Good job, all right. Now I have a quick craft for you that has to do with hearts. It's very simple to make. If you have a empty toilet paper tube in your house or a paper towel tube, you can take it and squish it into the middle and point the end of it. And when you get done, it makes a heart shape, okay? Now all you need is some white paper. I used construction paper, but you wouldn't have to have construction paper, just whatever paper you have. So on your paper, you're going to paint some hearts just like I did. Okay, now I've got my paint, and I would, if I, for me, I just used a blank piece of scrap paper. It's got stuff on the back of it, and I was going to throw it away anyway. So I just put a very small amount, you don't need much, a very small amount of paint on my paper. But if you think the paper might be too messy for you, you can always use a plastic lid or something else that your toilet paper tube end will fit into, okay? So you're gonna put out your, your, your um, paint and you're gonna dip the end of the toilet paper tube in it and then dip over onto your paper as many times as you want to, making your own heart stencil mosaic, okay? If you don't have one of these tubes empty at your house right now, you and you have some of those little fun foam kind of shapes, if there are any hearts in them, and if you've got empty water bottle lids or soda bottle lids, let your mom or dad or caregiver glue it onto the lid, and then you can take and dip it on to the paper like I did on this side of my paper, and it will make a heart shape for you that way as well. You can use little hearts, or the big hearts or the little hearts, whichever you have. And that's just an easy little heart craft for you to do at home today. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. Yeah, so we're gonna say goodbye to our friends. And the way we do that is we wave goodbye. And then we have our time to say goodbye. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.